Maggie, and this is a build I did just last night, so, um, <laughs> last night doesn't give much context, but it was, um, last night that I'm now recording this voiceover, so yeah, I've been pre-recording a lot of videos, I was about to say, <laughs> the S word, well, I've been pre-recording a lot of videos, like so many and it's been that way for like the past two months or one month I don't even know how long it's been but I've always had videos ready f like three weeks ahead of time <laughs> and I'm sorry if that bothers you that I keep talking about it. I'm just super excited to um share these videos with you and I wish I could post like multiple times a day but I can't because people don't have the time to watch videos like three videos a day I just I don't think that's rational but yeah, so I'm recording this on the 22nd of July now, and yeah, I've been going to my program for a while now. Uh, I think I just did, so as of the 22nd of July now, I think I just did a collab with Chlorophyll like yesterday or the day before. It was really fun. I think it was the day before on like a Friday or Saturday, I think. But yeah, it was very fun, and totally go check out that collab, even though it's probably way... <laughs> like way back as when this video is going out but um it was it's the first collab i've done in a while and i and if you want to collab with me feel welcome to i just i just have like a lot of other videos i'm making for my channel but i'm welcome to collabing totally because as you may know i have three save files so it's like i'm working on those three save files and it's very kind of exhausting but I enjoy it a lot um if you want more context on the three save files and you could watch another one of my videos I'm sure I'll be talking about another one of those videos but basically I'm just <laughs> basically I'm just making a, a base game plus expansion pack save file for every world that came with that expansion pack or just a regular base game expansion pack uh, it's base game save file with new crest willow creek always his phrase you know the normal um, and then, and then there's the, then there's the reno renovation save file where I renovate every lot and renovate and make over the families. And then I just have this rare save file that most people are doing. That it seems like most people make save files like this where they just rebuild every lot. And so this is part of the save file that where I rebuild every lot. So, and add families, you know, and like. I usually bulldoze, well not <laughs> bulldoze is the right word, well yeah, I bulldoze the lots, but I usually get rid of the families that are already in houses, so I'm sorry if that like bothers you at all, but I'm just not, I don't want to like, I'm already doing two other save files, and I just don't feel like doing the same thing again, so, so I'm deleting the townies i hope you don't mind but i'm making way for a lot more diverse and better townies and at least in my opinion they're a lot more you know like eccentric and interesting in my opinion <laughs> but that's just my opinion anyway um yeah so this is a house for a small family as you can tell it's a modern small family home it's for two parents and a teen son and a toddler daughter. So I realized when I made the family that I hadn't been really making much male sims in families unless it's like the husband. So I, so I really want to like, you know, branch out a bit and make more families with teen boys or child boys or whatever for the my safe file and for my safe files in general because I think it's important that I like you know include everyone and also add some diversity with like transgender sims, lesbian sims, gay sims, you know stuff like that because I don't have a problem with that at all I just I just have been making the, like the same kind of sims recently like literally the same kind of sims like the same mother, father, daughter, daughter, son like it's like I just have a bunch of daughters in one family. And it's like I know I do that because I want to like dress them and stuff like that, but it's uh, not always like the most convenient. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not always the most beneficial thing for my safe file. Like if you guys download my safe file and you want to have like one of your daughters who's living in an empty house to live with, um, 
to live with a or not live with to to, to get with a, another teen boy it's like kind of hard because I only have like teen girls when I say well I don't want to make all girls or I want to add just more diversity in general not just with genders but in general so yeah um, I hope you guys understand but yeah so this was going by very quickly this interior it really is um <laughs> the first floor actually took me a lot longer than the second floor I don't know why I just I just kind of speeded through the second floor I think because I wanted to be over because I was so it was like kind of late I mean it was late for me for a school night because it was like eight o'clock at night which I usually go to bed at like nine thirty or ten thirty between those times so I was like rushing to get this done <laughs> and I'm not the type of person who wants to play the sims all the way up until my bedtime I like when I play a game then or play the sims and edit my video and I didn't really have time to edit my video last night so I'm editing it today but yeah um I made this family using the story mode thing it's a new thing right now but it's probably not new when this video is coming out but I love the story mode casting I I just love it so much and I'm still getting used to like how I would be able to use the um, show live edit objects cheat because I don't really like buy debug or whatever it's called whatever it is I I don't really like that one I don't it's nothing I just don't like adding like objects that sims can get in live mode too I just want them to like the sims that move into this house or sims that live in this house to you know like work for it but at the same time I'm also doing ignore gameplay and locks entitlement cheat and that's kind of addictive and I just use that in like every single build even if there's a family in the house but <laughs> yeah yeah anyway um yeah so here's the parents bedroom it's it's pretty cool yeah I don't <laughs> I don't really know what else to say but now that I'm thinking about it I realize I haven't made enough empty households I mean like like lots for sims but with the no so no sims living in them so i think i need to work more on that for my safe files but yeah definitely um yeah <laughs> yeah i know i've done that a lot with like my base game save file because it's like um you know base game sims are a lot more difficult to make because you don't have all the clothing options i mean it's very i mean it can be kind of easy for me because i have like the ability to change the face any way I want to and I'm very in into like changing sims faces and making them look a certain way um or how like I think they would look based on their personality but or how just being more diverse with how the sims look but yeah I I know that with face skin there's only a limited amount of clothes so and it's very difficult sometimes because some of the clothes look really ugly but for the most part, I'm, I think I'm pretty good at making base game sims. I've done a couple. But, yeah. <laughs> I still need to work on that save file a bit more because there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of things I'm missing. So, yeah. And this front area here, this front porch here is really empty. I could have put something out there, but I just... I don't know. I feel like someone would come in and try to steal something. Cause this is such a ex nice, expensive house. The family that lives in this house, they're like super rich. <laughs> like, they have like. I mean, the dad is like a doctor, and I think the mom. I forget, but it was it was a story mode cast thing. So I made them using story mode, and I love that new feature. I can't say that enough. I just love it so much. So I was very happy with the way this family came out because you know it gave me like a f you know an idea for a house I can make without you know just thinking of something up in my head because I usually think of like the same kind of things <laughs> like this sim the mom oh yeah I just remembered the mom is an astronaut so she has that astronaut thing outside the spaceship where she, where she can make a spaceship and I think that's brilliant. I never really make astronaut sims, so I I just thought that was like amazing that I, I happened to get that through Sim Story Mode. I really like that feature a lot. I just can't say it enough. I just love it. Anyway, um, yeah, I actually really like the new update, and I like the look of it. Honestly, I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I actually 
like it. I'm just, I mean, it's just because I'm getting used to it. When I first saw it, I was like, eh, it's alright. But, yeah, <laughs> probably not when you're watching this video. This is totally irrelevant because the update happened, like, weeks ago or a month ago, whatever. But, yeah, that's just my opinion on it. And I think will be my opinion on it for a while. Yeah, I'm not really into the mods either that, like, revert things back to how they were before. I just, I mean, honestly, I don't do mods in general. I really don't. <laughs> I, I'm not really a mods person unless it's, like, custom content. But anyway, I think we're getting to the end of this build. We're moving on to the cast portion very soon. The cast, I slowed it down a bit because I realized when I have cast videos and my speed builds, I speed them up so much. So this is slowed down a little bit. I speed them up like 10 times speed and it's just ridiculous but and I know I'm trying to make the video like shorter but it's just a lot like for someone to look at I guess I don't know how to describe it but yeah there's a little pause here I'm trying to find a good thing a good um preset for her eyes but I don't know I was just making her to like what I would imagine her to be like but she's very cool I really like her and she's an astronaut, which I think is awesome. And I think the way I dressed her, she looks like an astronaut too. Like her clothes. Yeah, she has one son. The son is a teen boy, like I said before. And then the toddler is a girl. And so she had the toddler, like obviously really recently. Because, you know, toddlers are like one or two years old. And so, and she's an adult, but her husband, <laughs> her husband is a young adult. So... It's kind of weird, but, um, I mean, that's okay, you know, like, whatever people <laughs> want to do, but, yeah, um, so here I am just dressing, giving her her outfit, um, and I just had to give her a skirt, I didn't usually give my female some skirt, oh, I guess I don't give her the skirt, well, I'm kind of glad I didn't, but, yeah, um, and then here's her husband. I didn't change much about him, like, when it comes to his looks. Like, this is kind of how he ends up looking. I just changed his eyebrows and his hair, I believe. And his facial hair. Um, I realized a lot of times when I'm making sims, male sims, I don't add, give them facial hair. And I feel like that's kind of... I mean, that could be common for some people, but also kind of real unrealistic. Especially with, like, a guy of his age. I feel like he's bordering young adult and bordering well that doesn't make any sense i feel like he's almost a young ad an adult but he's also like a young adult at the same time so probably like in his 30s or i don't even know <laughs> yeah, i don't know how a concept of some ages anyway <laughs> but yeah this is their son um i ended up not giving him the lazy trait because i just thought that was kind of i don't know i just he just doesn't seem like the lazy type because his parents are so like hard working and ambitious but yeah and then here's i think i'm just trying to make a face or see what her face would look like for the toddler daughter but her name is alice alicia alisa alicia <laughs> i have a friend named alicia oh my god anyway um yeah so i think that's basically it for her just dressing her up a bit and yeah this is the front porch view and here is the gym. Here's a master bedroom. I really like it a lot and all the clutter I added. Added some, you know, like chairs around the fireplace and here is living area, dining area, you know, you know, you get the gist. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this build. Thanks for watching. Bye!